Welcome back to Sidelines TV, and we have a special treat today. We're doing a little mini reunion of the Horsepower Road to the McClay show. I have Maggie, Nico, Chelsea, and Brian uh, sitting with us. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming. Um, Maggie, I'm going to start with you. What's really been going on with you in terms of writing since the show ended? Um, well, I won McClay finals the year after the show. Uh -huh. um, and then I finished high school. I graduated from Auburn University in May. And the last six months I've been in Europe showing. And I have a couple horses now and just continuing my riding. And that's my main goal right now, just focus on the riding. That's great. How about you, Nico? Um, two years after I won UCEP finals. And then I worked for McLean for a year and a half. And now I work for Missy Clark and North Run as an assistant trainer. You don't have an Irish accent? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> How about you, Chelsea? So after the show, as everyone knows, I got Logan. He's amazing. And I didn't really do anything spectacular on him, but I stayed consistent in like the ribbons and um, was a good competitor throughout equitation. And then I got an amazing jumper, and I was showing her. I was gold medalist uh, as a team competition at Young Riders and in school and still riding. And What's Logan doing now? My sister's showing him in the Taylor Harris medal. And oh, he's 19? 19? Yeah. Ni he's 19, maybe 20. He might, and be, he might be pushing 20. Yes, he's being a very good boy as usual. That's so, great. Yeah. How about you, Brian? Um, I kind of did a similar plan like Maggie described. I've just been continuing my riding. Um, I graduated from Brown University last May. And I basically moved to Europe after that. and. Um, just been trying to develop my string and climb the computer list a bit and really concentrate on getting up in the in the rankings. I think it worked really well so far. You're doing great this season. So far, so good, yeah. yeah. Um, I have a great team of people around me and some great horses right now. So, um, you know, you take what you can get when it comes and try and hope for the days like we've been having recently. Yeah. Um, do you have any special memory, Nico, of your, like, the highlight of the show? Anything that was great? Um... I think it was just a good show for the sport overall. You know, it really it captured everything that we were doing, and it was great exposure. You know, the whole um, sport lacks exposure, and I think it really helped to get it out there. Yeah. And how about you, Maggie? I think they did a really good job of showing all the behind-the-scenes action, like what it takes to really get to a final and be competitive. Um, it's a lot of hard work, and it's a whole group of people that are helping you get there. So I think they did a good job of highlighting um, all the hard work and dedication that it takes to get to that level. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chelsea, was it Frank yelling at you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't, although that was a very high moment. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I just, so many people don't know about this and like this sport and how dedicated we have to be and I just remember being in high school and being like I need to leave for three months to go show a horse and they'd be like are you kidding me so it was great to have like proof of like how much time and work and effort we had to put into it and I was just happy that so many people followed it and I still get messages to this day about how people like appreciated it and I just thought it was the whole experience was amazing. I also know because you and I are from yeah. essentially the same town. Yeah. People just don't get it at all. No, def yeah. no, definitely not where we are. Yeah, that's no. for sure. How about you, Brian? Yeah, I think the the show helped to expose the sport on a more grassroots level. Um, you know, in general, I believe that the public is not accustomed to seeing the real behind the scenes, like everybody's saying, and how much work and dedication it takes to really get to that top level. So I think when they were exposed to kind of the ins and the outs and the, the whens and the wheres, um, it just exposed a, a new level of appreciation for the sport and, and for how much it takes to, to really get there. Brian, I know that you have a very high world ranking right now, which is a super big deal. What is that exactly? Uh, I'm currently ranked 57th as of last month on the, the world ranking list. And I should be, I think I'm 7th or 8th in the U.S. right now. I know this is a secret, but when you get to the top 50, they give you a free Ferrari. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Perfect. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Um, and Nico, do you have any special thing going on? Um, just training right now, you know, um, teaching the kids and trying to get more people to medal in the clay. Where are you going after what? Not sure, actually. We haven't done our schedule yet. We have to look at where everyone's at with school and everything and figure out what we're going to do for our schedule. I think North is just the standard answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Maggie, how about you? 
Uh, I have a good group of young horses that I'm excited to get to work with. Um, I left them in Europe. I just have one here for the circuit. Um, so I'm excited to see what they got. And I'm going back to Europe as soon as Florida's over. So. Chelsea? Well, you know, unfortunately, after high school, I was like, I'm taking a gap year to just show and have fun. So I took a gap year, so I'm trying to finish school still. I probably have, like, another semester. And I have two good, really good horses that I'm showing in the high amateurs and then one seven-year-old that I'm really excited about. So good. it's fun. Well, thanks so much, everybody, for taking the time. I really appreciate it. If you guys out there have any questions that you want me to ask them, um, we'll be around for the next several weeks, and I can do that for you, okay? So thanks again, and for Sidelines TV, I'm Rob Jordan.